Good morning, students. I hope you all will be fine and safe. Today we will start class ninth subject history, chapter one, the French Revolution, part one. Contents are introduction of the first, the French Revolution. Second, French society during the late eighteenth century. Introduction. The French Revolution on the morning of 14th July 1789, the city of Paris was in a state of alarm. The king had commanded troops to move into the city. Rumors spread that he would soon order the army to open fire upon the city. Some 7,000 men and women gathered in front of the town hall and decided to form a people's military. The people's military means people's army. They broke into a number of government buildings in search of arms. Finally, a group of several hundred people marched towards the eastern part of the city and stormed the fortress prison the best time, where they hoped to find loaded ammunition. In the armed fight that followed. The commander of the Bastille was killed and the prisoners released. Bastille was hated by all because it stood for the despotic power of the king. The fortress was demolished. Sorry, the fortress was demolished and its stone fragments were sold in the markets to all those who wished to keep a souvenir of its destruction. The days that followed some more writing, both in Paris and the countryside, most people were protesting against the high price of bread. Much later, when historians looked back upon the, this time, they saw it as a beginning of a chain of events that ultimately led to the exclusion of the king in France. Though most people at the time did not anticipate this outcome, how and why did this happen? French society during the late 18th century, 1774, Louis XVI of the Bourbon family of kings ascended the throne of France. He was 20 years old and married to the Austrian princess Mary Anne. Upon this accession, upon his accession, the new king found an empty treasury. Long years of war had drained the financial resources of France. Added to this was the cost of maintaining an extravagant court at the immense palace of Versailles. Under Louis XVI, France helped the 13 American colonies to gain their independence from the common enemy Britain. The war added more than a billion levels to a debt that had already risen to more than 2 billion levels. Lenders who gave the state credit now began to charge 10% interest, so the French government was obliged to spend an increasing percentage of its budget on interest payment alone. To meet its regular expenses, such as the cost of maintaining an army, the court running government offices or universities, the state was forced to increase taxes, yet even these measures would not have sufficient. A Society of E-State French society in the 18th century was divided into three estate and only members of the third estate had, had to be paid tax. Now you can see in this picture, this, this is the picture in this three estate, society of three estate has been shown. In this you can see this first estate, state, e estate was clergy, second was nobility and third common people. In common people, rich and poor all kind of people were there and these people only had to be paid taxes to the state. 
the members of the first two states that is clergy first clergy second nobility uh, enjoyed certain privileges by birth the most important of these was exemption from paying taxes to the state the nobles further enjoyed feudal privileges these included feudal dues which they extracted from the peasants the church too extracted its share of taxes called tithes from the peasants and finally all members of the third estate had to pay taxes to the state these included a direct tax called tally and a number of indirect taxes which were levied on articles of everyday consumption like salt or tobacco the burden of financing activities of the state to taxes was borne by the third estate alone thank you